So here we're back to C2.5, salts and electrolysis from the Kesish for additional science or triple AQA science scheme. Um, we're going to look at uh, topic six, the extraction of aluminium. So the exam board um, wants you to know that uh, aluminium is manufactured by the electrolysis of a molten mixture of aluminium oxide, so we've dug that out of the ground, or namely bauxite, you may have done in year 10, and cryolite, which is mixed into the, um, into the aluminium oxide. Aluminium forms at the negative electrode, oxygen at the positive. The positive electrode is made of carbon, <coughs> which reacts with the oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. And candidates should understand why cryolite is used in the process. So really it's about explaining what happens in this tank. Now, aluminium is the most abundant metal on the earth. And despite this, it's expensive, largely because of the amount of electricity used up in the extraction process. So the ore is called bauxite. And the bauxite is purified to yield a white powder, aluminium oxide, from which aluminium can be extracted. Now, the extraction is done by electrolysis, which we've talked about previously. But first, the aluminium oxide must be made molten so that the electricity can pass through it. So this is the molten method. Now, the melting point of aluminium oxide is very high, over 2000 degrees C. So to melt it using electricity, and that's what they normally do, large amounts of electricity pass through it and get it very hot, it will be very expensive to melt it. So instead it's dissolved in molten cryolite, an aluminium compound with a lower melting point than aluminium oxide. So by putting the cryolite in, we don't need to use as much electricity to melt it, and that reduces some of the energy costs. It's still expensive, but it's not as expensive as it would otherwise be. So the diagram here shows an aluminium oxide um, electrolysis tank. So both the negative electrodes, cathode, and the positive electrode, anode, are made of graphite. So you can see here the tank itself, the cell lining is graphite, which is negative. And here's the positive. And in the ore, dissolved in molten cryolite, it's about 950 degrees. So it's about half the temperature that it should be. The molten aluminium sinks to the bottom of the tank, and then it, it is tapped off the bottom there. It's all encased in a big steel cell. And these are huge, they're on a massive industrial scale. So the oxygen forms at the positive electrodes, and the oxygen reacts with the carbon of the electrodes, formed with carbon dioxide, and they gradually burn away. So these electrodes are a sacrificial electrode, and consequently they need to be replaced frequently. That adds to the cost of the process. And there's just an enhanced picture. You can see the carbon dioxide bubbling off, and the graphite anodes connected and uh, the electrons here, the negative and the steel cell. Now, especially for higher T, you need to know the half equations. So, during the electrolysis, the metal ions, which are positive, gain electrons from the negative electrode or cathode to form neutral metal atoms. So the equation at the negative electrode is aluminium 3 plus, because that's what normally forms, plus three electrons to balance the positivity three, negativity three, produce aluminium. Now with the positive electrode anode, metal or non-metal ions which are negative lose electrons to form neutral atoms. These atoms join to make molecules of the non-metal element, such as molecules of oxygen gas. In the extraction of aluminium, this is the equation for the action of the positive electrode. So it's oxygen, which is two minus, two of them go to O2, plus four electrons. And the removal of electrons from the cathode and the addition of electrons to the anode mean that there is an electrical current passing through the electrolyte. That's the end of this video.